Well, this morning on Weather Geek Wednesday, our buddy Aris Arsalari joining us from Atlanta, taking us inside that storm. And Ari, I got to imagine, if you're on that plane, you are frightened. You got to be, because not only were you getting pummeled by the hail, you know, uh, there were reports that the plane was also banking like 40 degrees to either side. So, you know, that's also kind of a reminder that, look, planes can take a lot. I mean, this plane, you look at it. I mean, just look at the damage there, and it made it back to the ground safely. One minor injury, and everything was all right apart from that. But anytime we see something like this, I get really interested in it. I want to take a look at the radar and see what this thing was flying into, and I think we'll be able to give you a pretty good perspective here. So let's start with the 2D radar, okay? Now, Stu Ostro actually put this together. We're going to start you off with a setup. Uh, here we are uh, with the plane coming in from the east. We've got a storm down toward the south, a storm toward the north, and it appears that the air traffic controller had kind of told these guys to try to shoot the gap here. So, from the pilot's perspective, let's see what they were looking at. Let's see if it was possible. Uh, when you put it into motion, you can see, watch how quickly that southern storm develops and moves toward the north. And that's the storm that they got hit uh, by with the hail. So let's look at this in 3D and see what the pilot was actually seeing. Okay, so here's the northern storm. Remember, we're coming in from the east. Northern storm, here's a southern storm. A little bit of that pink stuff in there. Okay, we're going we're gonna to say the pink stuff is hail. I can draw a circle if I try a couple of times, but you get the idea. Let's put this thing into motion, all right? Watch what happens with the storm. Watch how fast it blows up as the plane is flying in, all right? So the problem here is that this storm was pretty much at its full maturity, and they drove right into the hail core. And, you know, the thing you got to keep in mind, a lot of the times you see hail down at the ground, it's like quarter-sized. That'll usually start as much bigger hail up high in the storm, and then it melts on the way down. So, the, you know, that was some big hail that high up, but that mixed with the wind and all that stuff. Pretty scary, but at least we uh, probably learned a lesson there, I would imagine now. <laughs>